CFA or MBA in finance? Which one is better? Let's find out in this video. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanishka and I hope you all are doing very very good. I hope you are enjoying your Hindu New Year and you had a great Diwali weekend. If not, then happy happy New Year to you. I hope it brings a lot of love and success in your life. Now, as I already said in the introduction, this video is specifically going to answer one of my most asked questions on Instagram, on LinkedIn and on YouTube. Ma'am, is CFA better or is MBA better? What are the differences between the two? Should we do it together? Can we manage it together? um how should we decide which one to go for etc etc so let's touch base on all of that in this video but before that if you're new to the channel then please subscribe i need all your love support and care if you're already a part of my channel then thank you so much for joining me in my journey i hope we stay together till the end of time now cfa or mba first of all both are extremely prestigious courses both are highly valued in the market both are extremely honored in the finance industry so that is one thing you need to get out of your head that oh my god i did cfa will i not get valued in the market oh i did not do cfa i did only mba will i get valued in the market both have a very very strong market value so if you've done even either you are in a very good position now let's get on to difference number 1 what is cfa what is mba CFA is not a degree. CFA is a certification, an extremely valued, extremely precious certification that can help you in your career ahead. That can extremely boost your career uh, prospects, and that is extremely honored in the finance industry specifically. MBA in finance, on the other hand, is a degree. It is not a certification. It is a proper, complete degree. Okay, like you know how we have a BCom graduation degree, master's degree. MBA is a proper degree it is the old school degree that we have and that too is extremely valued into the market now difference in the market sorry difference number 2 in CFA you are an individual player right CFA does not follow the traditional classroom method the CFA institute is not running uh, classes like we have in school or colleges where you know we have to attend lectures or things like that they give you the CFA curriculum however you want to study you take coaching you do it on your own you do it when you're sleeping you do it when you're awake whatever you are an individual player you manage your own schedule your own timetable you have to navigate your path through this certification on your own yes like i said you can take coaching you can take mentoring but it is still not the same classroom learning or you know going to school going to college or attending lectures learning that we've been doing since primary that is not what cfa is MBA on the other hand is the traditional classroom learning whether you do it offline whether you do it online whether you do it in correspondence it is the traditional classroom learning that we've been doing since school you are in a class there are lectures being taken you are not in alone there are people around you in some form or the other okay difference number 3 is CFA is only one kind of CFA right you cannot really uh distinguish of course there's a cfa from india with cfa from us etc but obviously most of us are doing the us uh, affiliated cfa so talking about that there's only one choice it's not that you really have to get into some college or something you need to choose uh, which cfa degree will matter aisa kuch nahi there's only one cfa mba on the other hand the degree is only one but the choice of college will make a very very big difference in your career trajectory if you are a part of the top 10 colleges or top 10 universities you are in a brilliant space if not as you go down the ladder of the number your um, mba worth in some form starts declining right so that is a very 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 big point to note difference number 4 is something i think that we all are very very well acquainted to is the cost of the exam CFA each exam costs us around nine hundred dollars in an early bird or one thousand two hundred dollars if we miss the early bird registration. I am taking a situation where you are giving each level twice. That means you have failed three times, and you are taking classes. So, be you will be you will end up spending around twelve to thirteen lakh rupees. That's it on the tops. MBA on the other hand, like I said, it only majorly makes sense if you are doing it from the top ten colleges. In MBA. your cost will go up to 30 lakhs 35 40 lakhs it is a very 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 costly degree to attain so cost wise and logistically cfa is easier uh, 
CFA gets that plus point because in MBA it's not just the course. Remember, even for you to shift, right? The top ten colleges are not necessarily close to your house. Say an IIM Ahmedabad, IIM Bangalore, IIM Calcutta. What if it is not in your city and you have to shift? Those other logistical costs come up. Whereas CFA, you can literally give from anywhere in the world almost, right? So logistically, CFA gets the point. Now the next difference, that is difference number five, I think, is. getting in and getting out of the course confused let me tell you in cfa for you to get into cfa it is a very very simple process just get onto the cfa institute pay the amount register you're already a cfa candidate in mba it's not that easy you need to prepare for cat there are multiple exams if you want to go outside i think there's gmat if you want to go out of india and those exams my friends are very very tough cat exam GMAT exam are considered to be one of the toughest exams in the world, right? So you can imagine how tough it is. And if you do not clear those exams, you will not be given the chance to sit in any MBA college. So getting into MBA is very tough. Getting into CFA is very easy. However, next point is getting out. Once you are in an MBA college, it is much easier to pass your MBA within two years. You somewhere have it in your head. That you know, in two years, maximum three years, if you fail once, which is a very rare case scenario, forty percent to aye jate hai logo ke, you will be able to complete the course. Will be done and dusted with it. Whereas in CFA, sometimes some people get really stuck into the loophole of not being able to clear their levels or getting stuck at a particular level. Uh, the difficulty levels increase very, very, very hard. Uh, it gets difficult to manage with work, and sometimes it gets very difficult to exit. right it's not necessary that you will be able to complete it within 2 years a lot of people uh, started their cfa in their early 20s and have completed it in like their 30 so you know that time difference it's quite large of course now the cfa institute has updated its exams initially a uh, level 2 and level 3 only used to happen once a year now it's happening twice a year level 1 used to happen only twice a year now it's happening four times a year so somewhere that is easing things out but not so much it's still can get a little tricky to get out of cfa as compared to mba now next difference let's get to something more technical that is the syllabus itna difference similar similar laga tha aakhir dono courses padha kya rahe your cfa level 1 i'm repeating cfa level 1 is theoretically equal to your entire mba in finance course almost shocked so was i If you compare your entire MBA in finance syllabus, like what they are teaching, okay, it is almost you can say eighty percent theoretically equal to your entire CFA level one course. Yes, I have heard this from a lot of people. I have actually even recently spoken to people, and they've all validated these points. Hence, I'm very confident of what I am saying. Then, why the difference? If both of them are teaching the same thing, then why is MBA having so much wow, and why is CFA charging so much lesser as compared to MBA? Let's find out in the next difference. That is the style of teaching. Very similar to point number one. In CFA, you are an individual player. They are only giving you theoretical things, more or less. This is the concept. This is what you have to study. This is how you do it, etc., etc. Whereas in MBA. they give you very practical sort of learning you know you are thrown into groups where they give you actual case studies of things that have happened say in harvard case study etc etc and they make you think that using the concepts that we have taught you how would you react in this situation with a team and because of those extra soft skills that is what they are charging that extra money for in a certain way so even though what they are teaching to a certain extent is similar the uh, style of teaching is ex- extremely varied between the two courses and that is a place where mba gets the point next difference is placement whenever we are taking up such courses such prestigious courses such expensive courses somewhere down the line all of us are doing it with the expectation of earning more money in the future maybe through a job maybe through our own business in that case again mba gets the point because specifically if you are doing your mba from the top 10 colleges you will have a placement cell in your college which basically gives you the first movers advantage to apply to companies directly right because those companies are coming to you they already can see you and you can just throw your application that's like not throw but you can give in your application you can immediately sell yourself to them and if you're good you'll get it also 
whereas in cfa there is no placement cell coming there's no company coming on their face and asking them oh you've done cfa should we hire you no in cfa you have to do that extra labor work of finding a job from scratch using traditional methods like uh, job portals connections linkedin nokri etc you need to find those companies you need to um, work very hard to be able to get that one chance to come in front of them and sell yourself once you are in front of them and you're selling yourself you both are on the same page but the mba people get the advantage of coming in front of them faster than the cfa people again that's where mba gets the point what kind of a jobs and what are the pay scales that each of these courses can expect will be a part of part 2 so definitely stay tuned is there anything else in this video that you want me to cover something that you think that i have missed in the basic differences then let me know in the comment section below because i also need to learn with you going from practical experiences and honest experiences is always our motto anyways if you like this particular video then don't forget to like comment share subscribe i'll see you guys very very soon until then keep sparkling and definitely keep learning